Amen. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Amen. And this is the word of the Lord. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, he inquired of them deliberately, diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh. Amen. Amen. And just briefly this morning, uh, we want to speak to you from the subject, uh, star light, star bright. His star is seen tonight. Amen. Star light, star bright. His star is seen tonight. And we all celebrate Christmas. We know uh, that it is a time when families come together. Amen. Uh, the word that is the key component at that time of the year is love and togetherness. Yeah. And so as we come today, we want to make sure we remember the one who is this day is all about. Amen. Yeah. Because when you say Christmas, you're simply saying Christ's day. Amen. Now when I looked at this scripture and looked at this passage, Uh, The Lord kept taking me back to that word, his star. And the Lord has a wonderful way of doing things, amen. Amen. Uh, When he was speaking with me, he brought me back to something that we are all familiar with. Uh, All of us are familiar with on star. Uh, Everybody wants to try to get on star in their vehicle because it's such a magnificent gift that supposedly man has given to us. And, And when we think about on star, we look at what features it has and why so many people want to try to get it. Uh, one of the things that OnStar offers is emergency services such as uh, crash response and, and crisis assistance. If you get an accident, it'll call the police without you even lifting a finger. Uh, it also has connection services, which means it has hands-free calling. Y'all know what that is. You don't have to pick up your cell phone. You just call the person's name and it dials it for you. It also has diagnostic services such as vehicle diagnostics and, and they call a monthly email report. In other words, OnStar will give you a monthly report on the status and condition of your vehicle. If it's time to change the oil, it'll let you know it's time to change the oil. If something's wrong with your vehicle, it will let you know. The other thing that OnStar offers is what they call security services. This includes stolen vehicle assistance. And in other words, if somebody steals your vehicle, you don't have to worry about where it is. All you have to do is call OnStar and say, my car is gone. And they can tell you and the police exactly where it is. And you look at what it also has is what they call navigation services, which means it tells you how to get where you're going. It's turn-by-turn navigation. If you got to go right at the street, down the street, it tells you how to do it. It tells you exactly how many miles you need to go before you make a turn. 
So answer is a wonderful thing. But we're here to let you know this, this morning that there was something better before OnStar. And before there was OnStar, there was His Star. How do we know that this morning? Because the scripture tells us that the wise men said they saw His Star in the East. And so GM can't take credit for inventing the satellite system that directed people to find it where they needed to go. God did it long before General Motors came along. And we look at this, and we talk about it, and we say that his star came before on star. Let's just walk through this thing and, and look at what his star had to offer. First thing we know about his star is that it announced the arrival of heaven's emergency service. In other words, for on that night, salvation arrived to deliver us from the crash that had occurred in the Garden of Eden and from the crisis of the curse that we had received because of Adam and Eve. God knew there was only one way to get us back to where we needed to be. Amen. And so God sent His emergency service in the form of a baby named Jesus to bring us out of what we had fallen into. Amen. Second the thing about His star is that it conveyed that the consecrated connection had come. Yeah. You do understand we had been disconnected. Once we lost our connection with God in the garden, there was no connection. We couldn't get to God on our own. Y'all do know we had to go through somebody else to get to God. We had to go through the Levites and the priests and, and bring a sacrifice and tell them we want to give this to God so that God would hear our prayer. But when the baby came along, that baby on that night brought truth and that truth made us free to call upon God anytime we want and anytime we need. Amen. The other thing about his star, it declared the designation of sanctified security services. Y'all understand what sanctified security services are? It's a service like no other. Amen. On that night, the anchor of our soul arrived. On that night, yeah. the anointing for breaking the sin sick soul and saving the sin sick soul came on that night. Yeah. On that night, the answer to all things came. Yeah. Remember what Jesus said when he said, if there's anything that you need, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I have the answer to every situation. Amen. The other thing about his star, it served as God's GPS. Yeah. And I like when he gave me that, when he said, well, what are you talking about? A global positioning satellite? God's GPS is glory and praise positioning system. Yeah. You do understand on that night, praise was reinstituted. Well, how do we know? Remember they said the shepherds were sitting in there and watching their flocks. And all of a sudden they said a light shone upon them. Yeah. And the angels spoke and said, glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. Yeah. On that night, yeah. the angels directed us on how to give glory to God and where to direct their glory and praise. Yeah. Yeah. Look what it said in the Holy Bible. On that night, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the Bible says that the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and look what they said. They said, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. They all came from distant lands, but they followed one star. One star caused all of the wise men to meet up in one place and decided to find the one person that the Bible has said would be denoted and shown by his star. Yeah, then that Bible says this, even those who, who didn't want him to come. And look what it said, Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, he determined that the star had appeared and all of a sudden he started raising questions. Yeah. When did you see the star? Yes. Why are you coming and searching out this star? And once he had a conversation with the wise men, they said, we come because that star tells us that the Christ has been born. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, Herod got all of his men together, his yes men, and started saying, well, I need you to search the record. Yeah. Tell me if what they're saying is true. Yeah. And so all of these men searched the record, and they said, Herod, we searched the record, and it's written yeah. that in the days to come, in a town called Bethlehem, yeah. a child shall be born, and he shall be the Savior of the world. Yeah. Yeah. After this happened, yeah, sure. The Bible says the wise men went out again and they looked up and there the star was again. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Y'all know how it is when that light shines. Yeah. Yeah. And the light showed them where the child would be. And when they saw the star reappear, they rejoiced in praise. Yeah. But then it said this. They came to the house. Uh-huh. The spotlight showed them exactly where the Jesus child was located. Uh-huh. And when they came to that house, they found Mary. They found Joseph. And they found baby Jesus. And when they found him at the house, you you notice what they did? And they gave us an example. They didn't give each other gifts. The Bible says when they came to the house, they opened up their treasures. And they looked at the baby Jesus and they gave him gifts. The Bible says they gave him gold. And the gold represents the divineness of the light that he would deliver. And, and the frankincense is the sweetness yeah, that the light was going to supply to us. Yeah, then the Bible says they gave him myrrh, and the myrrh was the bitterness that the light would have to bear for us. You do understand, Jesus went through three phases. The divine nature, yeah. the sweet nature, yeah. and the bitter nature. Yeah. But all of that led to one conclusion. It lifted us all out of a situation where we found ourselves in the death and that baby boy that baby boy grew up he walked this earth showed us how to live showed us how to die and showed us how we shall be lifted up when the day comes and so as we leave you this morning star light star bright his star is seen tonight I pray today I pray tonight to live in the light all of my life. Yes. And if you're wondering who the light is, yes. if you're asking who the light is, yes. we're here to let you know this morning. Yes. The light goes by the name yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. The light is Jesus Christ. Yes. And so as long as you bask in the light, yes. Jesus promised he would lead you what he needed to be. Yes. And that baby boy told us this. He said, Lo, I'm with you. Yes. Even until the end of the world. Uh-huh. But he said, as long as I'm in the world, uh-huh. I'm the light of the world. Uh-huh. And the Bible tells us that one day that same light yeah. is going to come back yes, it is. and take us again. You, and you realize something they always would tell you about this. They said, when someone has passed, the first thing that they see Thank is you. the light. Uh-huh. When they're in Jesus Christ, yeah. the light and he's a home. Walk in the light, the beautiful light. Yes. Jesus Thank you, Lord. is Thank you, Lord. the light.